Well, hello everybody. Well, it's Tuesday, and you know what that means. Glee Day! Yay! But of course, tonight is going to be a bittersweet episode. Because not only is tonight the season finale, but also some of the characters are going to be graduating. <sighs> but thankfully we'll be catching up with some of them next season, which is good. And for the ones that are still in high school, we'll still be seeing them next season, which is good. So today, in honor of the Glee Season 3 finale, I'm going to be doing two top tens today. First off, I'm going to start with my top 10 favorite songs from Glee, and then finally, I'll wrap it up in a nice little package with my top 10 favorite Glee characters. So, let's get right down to nitty gritty. These are my top 10 favorite songs from Glee. Now, of course, Glee has brought us some songs that we either know or love, know slash love today, some songs from the awesomeness of Broadway and some songs that we probably don't really have that we haven't heard before. I know whether they're solos or duets or songs performed by the New Direction, songs performed by Focal Adrenaline, the Warblers, etc. etc. You get the drift. So number ten, well, to be honest. Well, I don't know what my top 10, what my, what number 10 is going to be, but if I had to choose, it would probably be Billionaire, performed by Sam Evans, played, who was played by Cordover Street, obviously, which, which of course was during season two. Now, the reason I put this song at number 10 is because, well, to be honest, I don't really remember that song all that much. I mean, yeah, it was Sam's introductory song to the Glee Club and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. But to be honest, it was just an okay thing. So there you go. Now, number nine, I'm going to have to go with This is a Man's World, performed by Quinn Fabre during season one when she was pregnant with Puck's child. Now. I kind of understand the meaning of that song. I mean, Quinn was saying, you know, this is a man's world, but you know, as lyrics go, a man is nothing without, without a woman or a girl. Which pretty much means, well, I'm not sure what she was trying to get with that song, but oh well, what the hey. So, number eight. For my choice, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, hold on. Yeah. yeah? Okay, cool. Um, did you get a text from mom? No. At all today? No. Guess what? What? We got the place. Yay! We'll be moving at the end of June. Okay. Yep, so. <sighs> yep. We're out of here. We got a 1,200 square foot townhouse or a um, something like 1200 foot uh, duplex? with garage oh. two bedroom duplex nobody up the stairs no more yay duplex with a garage carport two doors down from Tristan and thankfully and thankfully Doug is allowed yep yay yep we gotta pay $150 deposit but he's allowed okay cool he'll let us have Doug yay yep cool okay sorry about that Okay, sorry about the interruption, guys. Apparently, um, I'm gonna be moving in the end of June. Yay! Okay, now where was I? Oh, that's right, number eight. Now, for my choice for number eight, I don't know. Well, to be honest, I'm gonna have to go with "I'm a Slave for You," performed by Britney S. Pierce during the whole Britney Spears episode. Now. Of course, that was during the point where, you know, like, Britney went to the dentist and she got put under and stuff like that and blah, 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 etc., etc. And, you know, the performance was actually not that bad. You know, and, hey, Heather Morris, the actress who plays Britney, is actually a really good dancer. And, of course, she's been on tour with Beyonce. She was on So You Think You Can Dance. 
she just rocks at that. So, yeah. Way to go. Okay. For number seven, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go with Vogue, performed by Sue Sylvester, played who was of course played by the always awesome Jane Lynch. Of course that was during the whole Madonna episode thing, you know, where Kurt and Mercedes were part of the Cheerios. Don't know why the hell they did that. But still, it was actually pretty good. Plus, I love the part when she was like, Will Schuster, I hate you. <laughs> Cracks me up every time. But still. And hey, Jane Lynch has got some really good vocals on her. I mean, seriously. She just ruled that song. So now, off to number six. And I'm gonna have to go with Pretending, which was performed during the season two finale between Finn and Rachel. And that was the point where Finn and Rachel finally got back together. I mean, really? Seriously? Ah! But, oh well then. But still, the song itself was actually not that bad. And the kiss at the end just made me happy that the two finally got back together. Ha 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 ha! So, number five. I'm gonna have to go with some... Somebody I Used to Know, which was performed by Lane Anderson and his brother. And really, I really like that song. Plus, the original version is actually really, really good. I just love it to death. Plus, the song itself, the Glee version, was actually not that bad. I freaking loved it. So, okay. Now, number four. For my number four pick... I'm going to go with Bohemian Rhapsody, which was performed by Vocal Adrenaline during the season one finale. And really, Bohemian Rhapsody is one of my all-time favorite Queen songs ever. And the way they kind of played it by showing the performance matching up with Quinn giving birth to Beth, that was actually really damn good. It just worked on so many levels and the performance was just spot on. So for number three... Empire State of Mind, which was performed during the season 2 premiere. Now, of course, I love Empire State of Mind. I mean, seriously, that song just rules. It pretty much encapsulated the whole feeling of the entire season, because, you know, Nationals is in New York, and of course, that's what the Glee Club was going for. And it just really just emphasized how so enthusiastic everyone was about Nationals being in New York. It just worked perfectly. That's why I loved it. So, number two, Somebody to Love. No, not the Justin Bieber version, the Queen version. Yep. Now, of course, I'm a big Queen fan, really. And that song, performed during season one, it just flat out worked. It was phenomenal. It was great. It was fantastic. I just loved it. And now, my number one favorite Glee song of all time. Well, come on, folks. Don't stop believing. Come on. You pretty much knew that was going to be number one anyway. But still, I just love that song. I mean, seriously, if Glee had a theme song, Don't Stop Believing would be the theme song. It just worked beautifully. I loved it. So, that's my top ten favorite Glee songs. So, after I'm done uploading this video to YouTube, I'll, of course, be... Of course, we dishing out my top 10 favorite Glee characters. So until, so until then, live on and prosper. Peace out. May the force be with you. Bye.